Uh, no, it's not French regalia. It's just a table runner. Welcome. I'm Hawaiian Shirt Pop. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's the National Thrift. This location's at Victoria Park and Lawrence. So, we enter in and they've got most of the hard goods right up front. And they have some items on special. This is a, 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 a newer chain and generally in the Toronto area as far as I know. They've got three stores according to their website. I know of two. And uh, they've got some really nice items here. The usual cables, other electronics. can see speakers and audio, audio equipment of other sorts. It's a whole section of books that starts from here, goes around the curve, the corner of the, of the building, or the room I should say in this case. An interesting plaza, there's a bunch of construction just outside the door. They're adding our mobility ramps. Uh, it's, there's a brand new Starbucks across the parking lot from here. And the other end of the mall has the uh, no frills. So here's all the rest of the hard goods. That is an interesting piece of uh, rosy purple glass. And we are looking for our usual Hawaiian shirts. There's some candidates, but uh, they're more demure. These would be more like Hawaiian business attire. Keep looking around just in case sometimes they place these things in a different location in the store. Up front they had a showcase and some other more precious items that were behind the counter at the cash. And here we are continuing back on in the uh, shirts. The other ones may have been actually long sleeve. This is one I, I think I did actually pick up this one. And I think there was another one I ended up picking up as well. Sometimes the uh, sizes aren't all on the same size, side of the rack. Ah, yes, that was the other one. I do believe I picked up both of them. The blue one actually goes with a pair of uh, summer Hawaiian themed sh swim trunk shorts. There's a section with children's toys. I must say this is actually uh, very nicely laid out. It's not overly packed uh, as far as materials, uh, items for sale, uh, fabrics. Not sure what exactly that was. But these are uh, fabrics and sheets and comforters and linens of other sorts. The old trains, I've seen that. Uh, I think I saw it at a fabric store at one time in the past. I don't know if it's truly vintage or not. They may have been reproducing it for a number of times since then. Then we get into uh, some, other, some other geometrics. Just as a, there's our uh, table runner. Now, as a general 
bit of information. These folks may accept donations here, but they don't process the donations here. They're processed off-site and then distributed among the stores that they have in their system. The other one I've been at is at Lawrence, uh, south of, um, on Keel, south of Lawrence. I hadn't seen one before that one. The, this one was new to me. Although I haven't given you a tour of that other location yet. Nice sheet. All the newspaper article kind of things. And then we get into a bunch of shoes and other accessories. There's the shorts, other fashion accessories along here. And then the other set of shoes. It looks like it goes a long way. It is a substantial set of shelves just for shoes. I have to give them kudos on how they display them. They display them in the flat mode, not sloped as much as some of the others. And they do have change rooms there. And we did take a peek at some of the bags and some LPs and other recorded uh, audio recordings. Um, took a closer look at one or two of the bags here. This was a guess, but I wasn't entirely convinced it was truly a guess, authentic bag, but I'm not an expert at that. So I'll, I'll leave that for the others to uh, figure that out. I don't remember if it had any condition issues. It may have, so it didn't uh, take me any further than that then. It wasn't serious condition issues, but if, you, if you're trying to get the best price for something, you do want to have the best condition. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tour. Uh, if you could give us a thumbs up and a subscribe, it'd be greatly appreciated. Maybe even dingle of that bell. Thanks. Bye-bye.